Hello there. For today's video, I'm going to make a simple, straightforward party hole tenon jig. I need to give a really big shout out to Nathan Thomas for his very generous donation. May your coal pile and propane tank never dwindle. Thanks. These pieces are all mild steel, but I think medium carbon steel would make a better tool for this particular item. I wanted to make the hardy shank a little shorter, but I inserted just a little bit too much before bending. And I wanted to have a little bit more across the face of the anvil, but this will work. But it would have been a little bit better if I had a little bit more across the anvil face. This little piece tapered on both ends is a drift pin.
here you can see how the top piece overhangs. Originally I wanted the bottom piece to be about the same length. I'll shorten it up a bit. I hit the pieces quickly with an angle grinder with a flat disc. So here you can see why I wanted it to be longer so that my hammer doesn't come anywhere near that square vertical piece. You can see how I've skewed the tenon swage off to one side, given the shorter than expected length of this. Originally I wanted to have two different sizes of tenon swages, but I'll just go with the one for now. There's a little bit too much side-to-side -side play in this, but I'll take care of that in a minute. This helped reduce some of the side-to-side -side play, but you have to be careful to not overdo it and tighten it too much. This is actually the third heat. I was taking it a little bit slow. For a very basic tool, it works pretty well. Nothing fancy here, but I hope this helps a few of you guys. Thanks for watching.